On the phone with us, Asheville City Police Chief Robert Stell. And Stell, the reason we wanted to talk to you this afternoon was because we're following up on this murder that happened at the L.A. Cafe's patio. From what we've been told, a suspect came onto the patio and shot Damon Derricote in the head. Now, that's according to the Asheville County Coroner's Office. Can you give us some more details about the ongoing investigation? Because last I heard that the suspect or suspects are still out on the lam. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, approximately 1.30 in the morning, uh, there, there was a shooting incident. The, uh, the victim, unfortunately, passed away as a result of his injuries. Um, and uh, the, the suspect or suspects are still at large, and we are following up on any and all leads at this time. Now, if someone has some information, should they get in touch with the Asheville Police Department? And if they do call in, because I know a lot of people are very concerned about having anything come back on them, uh, if they should give up any information, will it be completely anonymous? Well, everything will be completely confidential. Of course, you know we 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 certainly will accept anonymous tips and follow up on them. It's it's always helpful if somebody is uh, does have firsthand knowledge and, uh, and and can provide that for us to successfully prosecute cases. It is helpful, but by all means, if somebody is not comfortable doing that and still can provide valuable information information to us, we'll certainly accept it. And, uh, and, uh, and track down any, any lead that we are provided. Now, at this time, do we have any idea what provoked uh, the suspect to shoot uh, Mr. Derricote? Well, there's, there's certainly been uh, speculation, but we, uh, we haven't been able to verify anything at this time. Um, but that's, that's, of course, another, another area that we're looking into, what, uh, what was the uh, precipitating, uh, precipitating events that led up to this incident. Now, we've heard some, uh, if you will, scuttlebutt out on the street or some rumors that it had a lot to do with the drug issues going on in the city of Ashtabula. Is there any validation to that? Well, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't validate that, but that is some of the speculation that we have heard as well. Um, and that's just, uh, you know, going to be part of the investigation and see if we can make that determination. And I know at this point, you know, you have a pretty good idea who the suspect is, but you're not allowed to release that name because uh, you're in a continued uh, investigation. Is there any information that you can give us that would help someone to possibly call you up? Should they be looking for someone specifically? Uh, is there a description that we can use? Well, we can't, we can't release any, anything like that at this time. Uh, we, we're, we're going to be seeking a, an arrest warrant at which time we can release more information uh, until we're certain and our, and our legal department is certain that we can, that we can release that sort of information, uh, that's when we will. I, 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 the only information I can release at this time is that it, it was a, uh, a, a young African-American male that was, in, was involved uh, as a suspect. That was the reported shooter. And uh, beyond that, I can't provide any names or anything at this time for, uh, you know, under our legal ob- obligations that we have. All right, and there was only him, or do you think he was acting with a group of other individuals? That's unknown at this time, but uh, our reports thus far have been primarily that there was one one shooter involved. And are you closing in on where this uh, suspect is at this point? We have, well, like I said, we had we have some leads. Uh, we're we're following up on and and anything that we have, and uh, you know if, if I guess. Best way I can put it is if we if we were close to nabbing them, it wouldn't behoove me to to report <laughs> something of that nature. But uh, you know, so I, I wouldn't be able to comment one way or the other on that. Correct. Just, just now, so you understand, but I, I uh, we we are certainly tracking down a lot of different leads. Now, when he uh, left the LA Cafe, I've heard several different stories. I've heard that he ran out on foot and then was in a foot pursuit. I heard that he jumped into a vehicle. Uh, can you clarify what happened there? That's that's really I know we've heard uh, different variations of it and uh, and that's that's something that we're also looking into. Um, it's it's somewhat unclear. We heard both uh, that uh, he had jumped into a vehicle or that he had just fled on foot and and uh, so it's tough with you know when something when something dramatic happens and you have different eyewitness accounts it's tough to follow you know follow up on which ones are the most plausible sometimes. Um, so you just kind of have to sort through it, and it takes a little bit of time. And, uh, you know, that's what our investigators are doing. Now, on Saturday night, was there a lot of people at the L.A. Cafe when this uh, situation went down? 
Uh, my understanding was that it was uh, you know it was a Saturday night. There, there was a, a fairly decent sized crowd there. Um, there. There was a number of people and and uh, w- within uh, you know the, the the immediate vicinity of the uh, of the incident. And uh, I'm 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 told it was fairly busy there that evening. Yes. All right. Once again, Robert Stell, the chief of police for the city of Ashtabula. I do appreciate your time this afternoon and giving us the heads up of what's going on. I wish you continued success in being able to track down the suspect and bringing him to justice. You bet. Thanks. On the phone with us, Stacy Patton from Ashtabula. And Stacy, from what you told me earlier, we chatted a little bit on Facebook. You said you were at the L.A. Cafe when Damien was shot by the suspect. Can you explain to me what transpired on Saturday night at the L.A. Cafe? What went down when, unfortunately, Damien's life was taken? We were all outside of the bar on the patio, and then Damien came out of the side of the bar. The guy got out of his car, walked up, shot Damien twice, and ran up the back steps. And do you know who this gentleman was who shot him? I don't know him personally. I just heard a name of Ernie. He just got out of his car, walked up, and shot him at point-blank range. Point-blank. Do you have any idea why uh, this Ernie would have done such a thing? No, I mean, not at this time, no. Now, I take it you're good friends with Damien. Yeah. Can you explain to me a little bit about Damien and and, uh, what kind of person he was? Damien had a heart of gold. He'd give anything to anybody that needed it. Always there for you through the good times and the bad. I mean, lifestyle wasn't perfect, but that didn't make him a bad person. He didn't drag everybody else into his problems. He was just an overall really great guy. He was. And uh, how long have you known Damien? I have known Damien since, God, at least 10, 11 years now. Again, I am very sorry about your loss. Now, you had also told me on Facebook that you were one of the last people there with him at that point in time, correct? Yes, until the ambulance arrived. And then they loaded him up and took him to the hospital, correct? Yes. Was he there with friends just having a good time on a Saturday night? Was that his typical hangout was uh, the L.A. Cafe? Yeah. And that's where you guys just went, had a couple beers, just laughed and giggled most of the time? Just had good times. Never any trouble there with him. And what would you say if this Ernie was listening? What would you like to tell him? You need help. You need prayer. What you did was cold-hearted. You took a, a brother, an uncle. You took a father from six beautiful little girls. They grow up now with no father because of what you've done. And I hope justice is served.